Marion North's works have um, a pulsating liveliness that is drawn, I think, through her use of oil painting. Botanical drawings would usually be in pencil or watercolour. By using oils and refusing to follow traditional codes of scientific illustration, Marianne blurs the lines between science and art. The thing about North's use of oils is that it is totally natural. She just takes the colour, places it onto the paper and mixes it, which is quite unusual. And given some of the detail that she accomplishes, it's quite extraordinary. But what's extraordinary to Marianne isn't just the excitement of painting. It's her botanical curiosity and the hunt of the plant itself. Here I go, Miss North. And now I want to have a taste of that adventure to see what excited Marianne to find those bizarre carnivorous plants. It looks unreal, like we're in a film and this is a film set. Here we are. I'm heading into the depths of a forest south of Kaching. There, Mr. Yeo, a local wildlife expert, I hope will make my day picture perfect. We are coming to this uh, habitat for the picture plant. So the way you find the picture plant is you have to look on the ground or you have to look on the uh, plants. Uh -huh. So it's like an Easter egg hunt, but with picture plants. Do you have Easter egg hunts out here? Don't worry. <laughs> All right. Oh my goodness. Yes, yes, this is one of the species, yeah. I found one. Yes, congratulations. <laughs> you have good eyes. Wow, they're, they're extraordinary. Massive. Yes, I've never seen yes. anything like them. Hmm. They're well named as picture plants, aren't yep. they? The one growing up here is the upper picture of uh, this plant. And there must be a lower picture on the ground. So if you look around, okay. then probably you will find one of it. I see one there. Where? Uh, yes, yes. Okay, come. Come this way. See? Yeah. Wow! See? They're All right. huge. Okay. What would happen if you touch that? Uh, you might be uh, bitten by the picture plant. Are you serious? Uh, what, if you put your finger <laughs> in there? No, no. It's a harmless, okay? Okay. Thankfully harmless for humans, but not for unsuspecting insects. The way they lure the uh, insects is they produce a nectar under the lips here. Okay, yeah. this is the latest for the uh, ants or insects. Oh, I see. It helps to, them to get climb. up there. Yes. So it's yes. clever. It lures the ants. Yes. They climb up and then they fall in. So it's like a trap. Yeah. So fascinating. I've never seen anything like that in my life. These are truly intricate plants. Trapping ants and other insects that slip down the side of the pitcher into a pool of digestive enzyme. It's sticky and sweet down there, and once the prey is in there, the body slowly dissolves. It's a truly predatory plant. <laughs> 